Now we all love a thrilling and creative boss fight, and one of the most common conventions of a boss battle is to have them transform in some manner, either before or during the battle. Now typically these transformations tend to be relatively modest, so the character remains somewhat recognisable, but sometimes they're mutated beyond any and all recognition in a way that catches the player completely off guard. And that's what we're here to talk about today, as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game boss transformations you didn't see coming. Number 10. Guardian Ape – Sekiro Shadows Die Twice So let's kick things off with a recent yet all-timer boss transformation that left players respecting the ingenuity on display and loathing how utterly cunning a ruse it was. Now, Like most enemies from From Software games, Sekiro's Guardian Ape will make short work of you if you don't show it the proper respect, but even if you last long enough to deliver an apparent coup de grace, the fight still isn't over. That's right, you'll think the Guardian Ape's goose is cooked once you've used the Shinobi execution to decapitate it because why the hell wouldn't you, but around 15 seconds later it will clamber back to its feet and resume the fight, all whilst carrying its severed head around in one hand. And to rub salt in the wound, it will also pick up the sword you used to decapitate it, which was previously jammed in its neck, for a considerably hairier second phase. This was a fantastic subversion of expectations, assuring players that they need to remain on their toes even after depleting a boss's life bar. Number 9. Evelyn Resident Evil 7 now you have to feel at least a little bit sorry for Resident Evil 7's primary antagonist, Evelyn, a young girl who was conceived as a bioweapon from birth to control people's minds, but who simply wanted a family of her own. Nevertheless, her reign of viral terror needs to be put to an end, and at the game's climax, protagonist Ethan injects her with the e-necrotoxin intended to kill her, which instead reveals her true form of an elderly wheelchair-bound woman due to her accelerated aging. The toxin causes her to feel tremendous pain before her human visage quickly melts into a black mouldy sludge, and then mutates into a gigantic mould monster for the game's final boss fight. Now, many fans decry the final battle as an underwhelming departure from the game's more creepier prior encounters, and let's be honest, seeing her face plonked into the middle of a mouldy mass does look a little bit silly now, doesn't it? Nevertheless, did anyone see this epic glow down coming? Number 8. Rumble Man – Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2 Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2's Championship mode sees the player pummeling their way through a slew of opponents in pursuit of the world title, but when you finally reach that climactic title fight, it ends up being against the most unexpected opponent indeed. The game's final combatant is Rumble Man, a Hulk-like brute weighing over 500 pounds and standing at a towering 8 feet plus. But when the legendary ring announcer Michael Buffer starts doing the in-ring introductions, he suddenly reveals that he is in fact Rumble Man. At that moment, Buffer shouts, Let's get ready for Rumble Man! Before falling to his knees and transforming, but definitely not hulking out for legal reasons, into a gigantic mutated version of himself with ripped clothes and, and even more ripped pecs that would make the rock blush. Even with the Ready to Rumble games touting a thoroughly silly tone I mean, Shaquille O'Neal and Michael Jackson are secret characters in this one for God's sake did anyone expect the iconic, much loved Michael Buffer to get involved in the action himself? Number 7. Mega Smith. Matrix The Path of Neo the Matrix Path of Neo game is an adaptation of the original Matrix trilogy, and though it isn't a purely strict translation of those films, it largely sticks to the same story beats, and so the final boss fight sees Neo battling against Agent Smith inside a soggy crater just as he does at the end of the third film. But after you beat Smith to a pulp, the scene abruptly cuts to black. We're then taken to a brilliant white room where the series' filmmakers, the Wachowskis, represented here in colourful 8-bit form, explained that Neo's sacrificial demise would have made for a pretty underwhelming video game ending, and so they decided to give players what they wanted, which was an epic extra boss battle instead. We then return to the battlefield, where the various smiths combine with all of the surrounding metal to form a kaiju-sized mega smith. It's certainly a fittingly bombastic finale worthy of a big-budget video game, albeit one that not a single Matrix fan saw coming. If you somehow needed any further indication that the Wachowskis approached this game as a thoroughly tongue-in-cheek exercise, the celebratory ending sequence cuts clips from the end of the movie to the Queen's We Are The Champions. It is gloriously silly. Number 6. Gongan Wizen, Azura's Wrath 
Now, Zura's Wrath's early boss battle against the demigod Wizen seems reasonable enough at first. Despite Wizen's size and power, it doesn't seem like a total mismatch. But pummel him enough and you'll trigger a cutscene where Wizen gets thrown off of a cliff to his apparent doom. Except, he'll then emerge a few moments later, having grown into a skyscraper-sized variation of himself called Varja Wizen. And while that seems like a pretty epic scale increase for an early game boss fight, if you triumph over Wizen again, he'll reveal a third and even larger form that he's been hiding in his back pocket, Gongan Wizen. In this form, Wizen is effectively the equivalent size of the planet Gaia on which the very game itself is set, and hilariously attempts to kill Azura by smushing him into a fine paste with a single press of his literal country-sized finger. But through sheer power of rage alone, Azura manages to fight back, exploding Wizen's colossal form fingertip first. Number 5. Gen Prey 2006's depressingly underappreciated sci-fi FPS prey sees Cherokee protagonist Tommy abducted by aliens alongside his grandfather and girlfriend Jen. Tommy spends the first half of the game desperately trying to track Jen down, and while it seems like a given that he'll eventually rescue her and they'll escape together, that's sadly not at all what happens. Later in the game, Tommy eventually finds Jen, but she's contained within a bizarre alien pod, and when it's opened, we see that Jen's upper body has been surgically grafted onto the lower body of one of the Ship's reptilian alien creatures. The alien part of the hybrid creature then starts attacking Tommy, forcing the player to battle the Jen alien thing, despite the fact that Jen herself of course wishes Tommy no harm. The boss fight ends with Tommy mortally wounding the creature, and in turn Jen, before finishing her off with a mercy blow. At least in the world of Prey, Jen simply ends up spirited away to the afterlife known as the Land of the Ancients, so it's not completely bleak, right? But even so, whoever expected the player's kidnapped girlfriend to be a damned boss monster later on in the game. Number 4. Photoshop Flowey Undertale Boss transformations don't get much more viscerally off-putting than the emergence of Photoshop Flowey at the end of Undertale's neutral route. Flowey is the first major character the player is introduced to at the start of the game, and with his resemblance to a smiling golden flower, he seems totally cute and harmless, right? Even though it's not long before Flowey attempts to kill the player and his true nature is seemingly revealed, those who play through the neutral route will see a side of Flowey nobody could have ever in their right mind anticipated. After absorbing the six human souls, Flowey will mutate into a nauseating monstrous creature comprised of tendrils both mechanical and plant-like, human organs like eyes and a mouth, and even a damn teeth. TV display embedded amongst its machine-like entrails. Even just looking at a still image of Photoshop Flowey is enough to induce goosebumps and activate the gag reflex, honestly. Above all else, it's proof that you don't need a triple-A budget or massive staff of artists to produce a truly singular and unforgettable boss design. Number 3. Ancient Wu – True Crime – Streets of LA Though dismissed by many as a Grand Theft Auto knockoff at the time of its release, True Crime Streets of LA is generally held to be one of the better sandbox actioners of its era. This may be either because or in spite of how incredibly and unexpectedly weird it gets after a few hours, with pretty typical triad-centric crime shenanigans abruptly morphing into outright supernatural insanity totally out of nowhere. In the chapter House of Wu, players come face to face with ancient Wu, the mythical creator of the Chinese triad said to be hundreds of years old and, apparently, a bloody dragon. After battling your way through a chapter that unexpectedly hurls zombies and demonic entities in the player's path, Wu disappears and the player is suddenly attacked by a dragon. Now, it's not 100% clear whether the dragon is literally Wu himself or is simply one of his pets, but either way, nobody expected to fight a flaming dragon boss in a game that was, for the most part, a comparatively grounded crime actioner. Number 2. Lady Unalaska – Final Fantasy X Lady Unalaska is unquestionably one of the toughest boss fights in Final Fantasy X, and while at first she's presented as a relatively familiar-looking humanoid woman, and this being Square Enix, she's of course wearing barely anything, she undergoes two drastic changes throughout the fight. After defeating her first phase, Unalaska assumes a more demonic form with tendrils emanating from her body and elevating her into the air, but things get truly queasy if you reach the third phase, where she'll be transformed beyond all recognition indeed. At this point, Unalaska reveals a Medusa-like creature attached to her body, comprised of a gigantic gorgon-esque face and snake-like locks of hair, all whilst her original form chills out on a bed of hair above. As if the mere difficulty of the fight wasn't enough, you've also got to take Unalaska down while staring at her off-puttingly grotesque transformation, which is nothing if not intensely demoralizing. And number 1. Mother Brain – Super Metroid 
Super Metroid contains one of the greatest, most iconic, and certainly most surprising boss transformations in video game history, and one that fans still fondly remember almost 30 years later. At the end of the game, you finally made it through to the antagonist Mother Brain, and taking her down seems like a trivial task. Just keep shooting at her glass housing until it breaks, and then give the brain itself both barrels, right? Well, except Mother Brain will then begin to transform into a gigantic dinosaur-esque bipedal mech for the real final boss fight. Anyone who got this far into the game as a kid will surely still recall their absolute awe at seeing the Mother Brain's sprouted body totally out of nowhere. What follows is unsurprisingly a markedly trickier boss fight than simply shooting an inanimate mound of fleshy brain matter, which when you think about it was uh, pretty damn one-sided all things considered. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 video game boss transformations you didn't see coming. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Instagram at RetroJ, but the O is a zero, and I hope to see you over there, my friends. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.